Hello, 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 who near your highness tv my name is chenekombe today i'll be your host and i'm here with uh, the man himself the man of the moment um you know this channel has been about languages learning of languages and culture um yourself but before before you delve into yourself right why is this channel about languages okay why are you talking about languages well um I love languages first to start and I guess it's something I've loved since I was very young and growing up I just love learning it and it got to a stage where somewhere when I, when I was in SHS2 you know not everyone on this channel is Ghanaian so for those outside let me say high school okay high school level I think second year and I started getting curious about Ghana language because I was in a Facebook group called Polyglots of the World and they'll be learning this, showcasing their languages. And I started to just go online to search about our language spoken in Ghana. So I went online and I couldn't find anything. Those I could find about Ghana were about only four. And it's like, I was like, okay, I can do something. But I didn't start it immediately. Um, I wanted to, but I was shy of camera. Yeah, I was shy of camera. But it took time to master the courage to do it. Yeah. Okay. That's very interesting. So, to start with, okay. how many languages do you understand? How many languages do you understand and can you speak? Okay. How many languages do you understand? Okay, so it will depend. There are those I know very fluent. And those, okay. So I, I know in intermediate. All, in all, how many? In okay, so we are going to count. Then you yourself, you will judge for yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh, what's the name? Let's quote a number okay. because when when it comes to this polyglot, people have their own views. So okay. I'll just count. So I Ga and Dangbe are my native languages, so I know them very well. English is also a language I learned from childbirth so let me say Ghanaian that's English. Our, that's our official language so yes so that's three yes i learned french at jhs i can you know something mm -hmm. let's let's start with the with our indigenous Ghanaian okay. languages okay. okay okay right so first the two okay Ga and Dangbe. that's a Ga Dangbe. okay okay so, so Ga and Dangbe. Dangbe. i know three very well oh that's fine yes i know fancy four um I know Bunu tree, but Bunu tree, I will still say it is tree, so I will not quote it, so it's still tree. I know Latte very well. That's five. I know Chirepon very well. Six. Uh, Chirepon is the language of our, I mean, ancestors, I mean, yeah. Chirepon, Ebutu, Ebutu. Yeah, 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 the Guan languages. Yeah, the Guan languages. Yeah. Um, I know a Futu, but I will say so not to Futu. an advanced level. I know it maybe to a fair level, maybe intermediate, inter high intermediate. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's, as to whether you include eight. it or not, we still will we'll include it, okay. High intermediate, your foot too. In Zima to high intermediate. That's nice. Yeah. Seshi, high intermediate. That's ten. Yes. Um, airway to intermediate. I'm intermediate. I'm not really high intermediate, but I'm intermediate in airway. Mm. Yes, I'm also intermediate in Dagbanli. Wow. Yes, I'm not meeting that badly. But okay, so these are those I'm, I can manage great conversations in. But there are those I know basic, maybe just basic. So we'll just separate them. Like maybe Boem is just basic, Bimoba, Guruni, Kusal, um, Ahanta, very basic. Yes, Gonja to very basic. Gichode very basic, in Chumbulu very basic. So we we'll about to lost count. <laughs> <laughs> so we we'll just only take the twelve. So that, those I know to the twelve, and then call half it of those ones. ones okay. Let's take them the out. Basics, mm -hmm. all right. So now, now aside our local Ghanaian dialects, that's mm -hmm. twelve. 
how about the foreign ones? Okay, for the foreign, I know English very well. That's one. I know French, French. high intermediate, Spanish advanced level. Interesting. Yeah, German to almost advanced. Yeah, German almost advanced. Swedish to almost advanced. That's fine. Yeah, and because of Swedish, I understand Norwegian, but I never learned Norwegian. But Swedish gives me the opportunity to only understand Norwegian. I said, you know in tree, and tree giving you the advantage to understand fancy. Like, like you, of, they have similar, yes. just like Gauss and Dangbe, it gives you that step to understand, I mean, the basics. Yes. Or some, I mean, level. Exactly. So, I will not say I learned Norwegian, but Swedish just gives me the advantage. So, we still add it up to it. We still understand. I don't know. I, don't know. I only In understand, way, but I can't speak can't it. Speak. Yeah. All right, so we still still have five. Okay, yes. Uh, have I mentioned Catalan? No, not yet. Okay, so I know Catalan high intermediate. So which country speaks that? Um, Spain is spoken around the Barcelona, Valencia region. They speak it. Oh. High intermediate. I know Portuguese very, very, very well. Sorry. Yeah, but European Portuguese, not Brazilian Portuguese. Oh, okay. Well, Brazilian Portuguese, you, you, if I read it, I would understand. But when speaking, you know, they have these sound shifts, yeah. which are very problematic for me. So. I don't know. Okay, I will stick to European Portuguese. Um, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, these are those I know very well. I understand lingua fala, but I can't speak it because Portuguese gives me that advantage to understand lingua fala and lingua galega. So, lingua galega is one language I can understand very well. Which, which country speaks? It's spoken in northern Spain. And I can even speak it, but I'm not fluent because I get no one to practice. But there is no way you put a Galician book in front of me and I can't read. I will understand everything perfect. When you speak it to, I understand after I carefully listen. Okay. But it needs rapt attention. Yeah, but just that I don't get anybody to speak with. Most Galician tend to speak Spanish, so yeah. So that is it. That's very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. So now let's let's so eight and twelve. That's twenty. Uh, yeah. Things. And then those basic ones, I mean, probably, yeah, I can't count. Yeah. We've lost count of even them. Even Romanian, let me see. Stop I'm, mentioning. I'm even intermediate in Romanian, not really basic, but intermediate. intermediate. So you can add it so it's having 21. Mm, and then the basic yeah. ones probably might be around 8 or 9 or 10. Yeah. So let's say, in all in generally, you understand about 41, um, 31 let's, languages. Let's make it at 21. <laughs> I don't want to add the basics. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> so 21. Yeah. 21. Yeah. Let's to come back again, mm -hmm. right? To our local Ghanaian dialects. We understand that 12 of them. Mm -hmm. 12 of them. I actually don't know the number of languages. I mean, to be sincere, I don't know the number of languages we, we speak here in Ghana. Okay? But you know, in 12, how did you. Let's take off the guy in Dangbe, the Gadangbe out. And tree. Because trees are. I, I mean, trees is a, is a second. I mean, language, right? Aside their local dialect, tree is the second. I mean, that's we all spoken around, okay? Now, the rest of, of the nine, how did you learn them? Can you just take us through? How did you learn them? Did you have, or do you have someone who actually takes you through, or did you attend, I mean, a school of languages or anything? Okay, so it's kind of a journey. So to start, um, GHS, I was in GHS 1. I didn't know I had a love for languages oh, okay. until there was this lady I was sitting by, Esther. Esther Borte, she was sitting by me. And she told me that, no, she even proposed me to learn Dangbe. Yeah, she told me that uh, she's learning Dangbe, that she loves the language, so I should learn it. So she started teaching me by force. She and me too, <laughs> yes, and me too. I was also curious about the language and Esther loves languages, but I know we were now developed, we were now seen as, because JHS 1, we were very young. I was about 12 years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. she was also about 12 years old. So, um, she was like, she's learning Dangbe, so I should also learn, it looks like God. Then she was, she was forcing the language on me. <laughs> Come, MOBA, and then she would say, say it, MOBA, I'll be saying it. And I also got interested along the line. I started asking the name. 
it's like she has this joy when you ask her she she teaches you with joy yes so she really inspired me to learn dangbe yeah but i got dangbe very fast because it's obviously closely related to gang and Esther went to learn in Chumbulu again and she came to me that she's learned a new language in Chumbulu that is K, it's full of K, 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 K. So I should learn. Kam is Ba. Uh, uh, this is uh, Kutuntui. She was just forcing the language on me. Yeah, which, it, which town or In Chumbulu is yeah, spoken yeah. around the Oti region and then the Bono East region. Yeah, it's a Guan language. Yeah, it's a Guan language. So it's like when she learns something, she just wants to force it on me. And it's like she wants to teach people what she's learning, but nobody gives her that listening here except me. So she just teaching, tends to force, focus her energy on me. So you know, it's, it's just like I'm learning something mm -hmm. and I'd want to teach someone. So the more you teach someone, the more, I mean, fluent you get, you get mm -hmm. with what you're actually teaching. Exactly. So I think it's also a part of it. So. Yes, that was what she was doing. You had a partner in crime. Yeah. <laughs> so she, yeah, she had a partner in crime. So she was just forcing it on me and all that. And then, um, then one time, I remember she was there. She told me there's this guy in the class called Sylvester. He speaks a language called Bono. She wants to learn. And I was like, I also want to learn it. Then we approached Sylvester and we started asking Sylvester questions. And we realized it was like three, but very different. And that was what. That was what, let me say, aroused my curiosity. I was like, ah, if Ghan has a sister language called Dangbe, I realized Tree has a sister language called Bono. Is there more to this? So that means that every language has a sister. Because when we were growing up, I taught in Ghana, we only speak Ghan, Dangbe, Ewe, English, Tree. That's all. I never knew there were more to this. Interestingly, the first time I encountered the Bono language, like you're saying, sister to that of the tree, was when we went for Congress at um, USA Congress at uh, UNER, University of, I think. UENR. Yes, UNER. I mean, and, and it was bare, bare, anything they had, bare, like, what is happening? It's tree, but you hear bare, you, you know, and I was, it was, it really triggered me, but you know, funny, I mean, funny enough, I can't speak tree, my tree. Actually, actually, isn't good at all. I mean, that's not <laughs> speaking to you, love for me. You get it. I also have that taste for languages, but then, you know, the accent and the tonation is quite interesting. So, like you're saying, you having that, I mean, um, um, encounter with that language from someone. Esther, wherever you are, know you are the cause of this, and, and it's not, it's nothing bad. You know, you actually gives the credits to you. You actually aroused something in him that today. He is using, I would say, as a career. As a, it's, a, it's a career path for him today. God bless you wherever you are, Esther. Yeah, so yes, back to our conversation. Now, you've been able to, I mean, identify that they are, I mean, I mean colliding or they are sister languages. How did you continue with the rest? Okay. So, so like I said, um, I got interest. I wanted to find out all these things, but you know, and luckily for me, I'm in a compound house. You know, oh, you know the I'm Ghanaian compound house. Mixed shack. Yes, <laughs> the tenant system. Okay, you know, it's a long house, but full of tenants. I understand. Yeah. And you know, now my mind has been triggered to the to the language world. So there's this lady who has speaking these languages all the time, but. My mind never went there, but after I became curious about Akan and his sister languages, I remember I was going to Wee Wee, let me use the word Wee Wee, <laughs> I was going to Wee Wee, I was at home, it was a Sunday, went to Wee Wee, and I heard the language, sounded very Akan, but I couldn't understand the word. So I stood, I didn't, walk, I didn't go to Wee Wee again, I went to a woman, she's going to stay here, I said, take care. Yeah, well, uh, what language is this? She said latte. <laughs> <laughs> so when she said latte, I was like, it sounds like tree. And I was like, I feel, I'm, I'm learning a language called Bono. She said, oh, Bono is different. We have latte. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, oh, wow. So I, went to, I asked my grandma and I told her about it. And then she was like, oh, there are different, different languages. So I was like, eh. So even in tree, I, I like to have a crapping tree, yeah. latte tree. No, uh, so la latte is a Guan language. Oh, okay. 
and then we have a tree mm. and we have the akan and then the tree itself a half a tree rara tree tapa tree uh, but it's all tree just a uh, location okay. there's some um, little difference little difference yeah so when my grandmother told me i i told this lady i'll learn latte she said she would teach me so i was like how do you say come she said be how do you say go she said nye how do you say come she said beto how do you say come and collect beso so i was like okay i just kept it in mind but not long after she left a different woman also came to the house and my grandmother told me that another la guan woman has come to the house so since i'm learning the guan she too she was also she didn't discourage me. She would be like, go and learn. So she said, I should, the language I'm learning that I'm always disturbing people. I should, uh, hey, I should pick it up from this woman. She can also speak that language. She said, when she came to the house, she interrogated her. So I approached the woman and I told her, and she was like, okay, her language is like latte, but it's not latte. I was like, ah, now I'm getting confused. What was the name of her language? She said, the futu. So I was like, how do you say cam? Now she said, ba. But I know latte to be be, but she said, ba. How do you say come here? She said be ye. I know latte to be beto. I'm like, how do you say go? She said wo. But I know latte to be nye as go, but I'm going latte to say me wo. So I was like, ah, so latte me wo has now come to be a futu wo. And then I was like, how do you say come and collect? And then she was like, ba so. And I know that uh, the latte, the woman told me was beso, but she said ba so. So I saw the similarities. I was like, okay, they are similar. She told me they are similar, but they are different. She said they are Guan languages. So she introduced the concept of Guan languages to me. And I saw so they getting curious. She was there, and another woman also came to the house from Ebru. So when the woman came, it seems this woman and the woman had a conversation. She told me that I should learn the latter from this woman. I approached the woman and I told her what I've learned. She said, What I'm learning is not called latte, it's called chirepong. So she has to correct me. <laughs> yes. Interesting. So she, yes. So when she corrected me, she was like, it's Chiripon. I was like, what is Chiripon? She was like, she also speaks Chiripon, but she speaks a dialect. So she started telling me that the Beso I learned, they say Beso. And I'm like, it looks like the Futu Beso. She was like, yes. She said, maybe I say Beso Ete. Come call, but she said, don't say Beso Ete. So she started teaching me the variations. As for she stayed. It looks like sounds like written and then it's yeah <laughs> and then she had time to teach me the woman was a really good one she had time to teach me the latte and one time she told me she had discovered a woman she speaks the original latte so i should go to her and learn so when i went to the woman i, I asked her that um, so i was like ma eh, yes who can latte casa but like and i'm saying i'm saying as sorry those of you know that i really want to learn it I mean, I thought I was learning latte. No, no, I was learning chirepon. Then she was like, what do I know? Then she started questioning me, started targeting me. Then she realized, like, okay, I know the chirepon. Then she was like, yeah, the latte language is dying. So as for her, her children, we can't speak it. So if I really want to learn it, she will teach me, why not? She started teaching me, she started seeing the variation between latte and chirepon. So like the same language, but some minor, minor variations. variations. Yeah, like maybe they come here. And I saw it intertwines with the futu and all that. And that's it. So I wanted to, so I asked myself this question: How many languages are spoken in Ghana? So I asked the woman. I started writing it. I asked, but nobody was giving me the actual statistics. So I, I got to SHS gradually, and I started jotting everything down. That in the future I'll write a book about this. Because when I go online, I don't find anything. So I wanted to do it myself. I remember I, I, one time I found an article online. But um, it will say a Kriapin tree as one language, a Santi tree as one language. But now, as I'm learning, I'm realizing that the same language, just dialect. So you can't call them different languages. So as I grew up and I started separating them, which time I learned away, I, um, time for my national service, I intentionally chose to be posted to the north because I wanted to learn the northern languages. So I was posted there for one year, and that one year I seized the opportunity to learn Gonja. Dagbali, Bimoba, which in Dagbali we call Bimobsele, and then Guruni and Kosa. I just used the opportunity, so I was just yeah, roaming. about <laughs> the three languages. Yeah, because I was, they were around me, so I, I had to make sure to I learned seize it. Seize the opportunity yeah. and then make the best out of it. Yes. Interesting. So now, we've been able to delve into that of the Ghanaian local dialect. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go to the foreign. Okay. You know, you know, here in Ghana, they would push in quote pu 
push the French to you. Oh, I mean, they'll poke the French to you because, um, you know, um, foreign, as part of languages, the, the French is compulsory here in Ghana. I mean, literally every school teaches French. I remember being whipped by my French teacher anytime he comes to class. Cause, <laughs> You know, and in my, even in my encounter, in my first encounter of French class in high school, <sighs> made me give up. <laughs> I wanted to do my gun because, I mean, I was, I was very, very good. I'm very good at gun, so why not? Why don't I just go to my gun class, still well, teach my yeah, colleagues. Yeah. You know, I was teaching my colleagues when I was even in JHS. I went to high school. I was doing better. Why don't I just go teach my colleagues and then just be free and get my A <laughs> in my YC and go my way? <laughs> You know, but I was along the line, I realized French was also interesting, you know. Sometimes, once in a while, certain words or phrases do come in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I have been lashed because of these phrases or because of these words in high school. And now you are grown. You know, so let's put French, we can, we can put French aside, you know, that growing up, you learned French together with the English. So we can actually put French aside. So now, let's go to the Portuguese, the, 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 uh, the Spanish. How, how did you learn that? Did you travel outside to learn those countries to learn them? Okay. Spanish. Let me begin with Spanish. Actually, my French teacher okay. inspired me to learn Spanish. She was like, I'm oh. very good in French, so I'll be able to understand Spanish easily. Interesting. So he told me to watch Dora the Explorer. Okay, it's in different languages. Yeah, it's in Spanish mostly. Wow. And so they Spanish and English, to, yes. Okay, that's, that's fine. She speaks English, but she teaches Spanish. You, and then they used to show it on Net2 TV. And then we were on Analog TV by then. That and Net2 was fresh, about just one year old in Ghana. And yeah, the show was full. And we had only six TV channels in Ghana by, by then. then. Six TV channels. So it was easy to <laughs> tell you to <laughs> go watch this. <laughs> Yeah, but now a whole lot of them. Yeah. Okay, so I had to watch Dora the Explorer. When it's school closes, I rush home, go sit by the TV, put on Dora the Explorer, just listening. And I learned Fantastico, Benga, and I was learning. And then sometimes I'll go to my mom, worry, I just pay coins. Remember back then we used to have this internet cafe. Yes. One like now Today. that. No, those are used to buy time. Yes, you buy time. I think 30 minutes was 50 pesos or so. One, one e, I mean, it was 50 time, pesos, 50 pesos. So then? One hour. Uh, there was one season. <laughs> one season. I mean, thereabouts. Uh, they give you the, 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 the attendance to give you a code. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, and you had that, that, that uh, analog com I mean, the, computer. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, only by the time they give you a sheet with a code, so you punch in and then you automatically read. So, when you yeah. turn it up, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then that was 20 pesos. So I'll go to my mom. I have to create all form of excuses because she'll be like, ah, what do I go to the it's language stepping. for? So I have to find ways of quoting it. And I'll be like, I'm hungry. You have to take the coins. Then I'll go sit at the cafe, buy 30 minutes. Then I'll open Google Translate. Oh. Then I'll type, come, go. I am eating. Then I'll just be writing it in the book. And I, and I was using my French uh, idea to learn it. It's not that I'll go on YouTube, uh, Spanish pronunciations. And that was it. That was it. So, yeah, so, but let me say, I dedicated about three years to learn Spanish. Yeah, and with time, I had to, like, absorb all these words, like, absorb it. But... Let me say, it took me about three years to get Spanish. And then I was. Then we used to have these phones, these Nokia phones, Motorola, the very phones small. That came with the internet? Yes, yes, yes. Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 2003, uh, 2012. No, Thereabouts. Seven, eight, thereabouts. Yeah, but this is. Those, those time when you were talking about, the, I was, I was like in class. Speech I, five, I was six, in. Six, then. I was now in SHS two when I was using this phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, SHS two is high school That's second year. So yeah, I had to change all my language to Spanish, and then I had created a Facebook account, and I was joining this language language group. So. As I was there, I've changed my language to Spanish, and I was 
everything is in Spanish, so it was exposing me to the language. And what I wanted to explore different languages, so I changed it to Portuguese. And I realized I could understand, look like Spanish. I changed to Galician, I changed to Romanian, and then I wrote all this language. And then we have this language challenge in this Facebook group where they'll throw a challenge. Within six months, you have to master a language, and they'll throw another challenge. So, you know, back then, those groups were very interactive. But these days, these days, they are not that. But those groups, honestly, really, really, really helped me. Me knowing basic Russian is due to that group. Me knowing uh, basic Chinese, I don't know Chinese in food, but just basic, is due to that group. Like Swedish, after that group, because I started learning Swedish, I really love the language, so I delve deeper into the language. And yeah, so Facebook, joining Facebook groups back then, but I left Facebook though. But recently, due to YouTube, I had to go back to <laughs> Facebook again just master to promote. Is a master, you know. Yeah, do what I'm doing. Yeah. So, so, I mean, clearly, we could all see that you you learned your languages based on um, recommendation, because yes. from the onset, someone pushed you to learn what she has learned, and then she came back again with a different one. You had to go back to her. Now that 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 should get that kind of interest to actually pro further yeah. and then yeah. grandmother tenants you know here in ghana you have something called the compound house you have a whole <laughs> i mean rooms lined up you know with different people i mean tenants coming to stay in so eventually you know you can't always isolate yourself be indoor you have to you know mingle it's, it's a house you know different people so we call them the coach of many colors so having all this at your fingertip have you traveled outside the country to any of these countries to learn or to actually mingle because you know when, when you go to some of our universities for the ones I actually know University of Ghana Legon when you study language you know it's a four-year I mean study duration you know in academic discourse communities four years so if you study a language for about two to three years right and you do well you'd go to that country that speaks that language for a year we call it a year abroad you get to have to master that and clearly you didn't study language in the university what what what, what course did you study in the university information technology <laughs> but why is that he's actually not using it why is not using it yeah. it's just like me reading i mean psychology in, in a university but i'm not doing psychology i mean i'm not doing anything related to psychology but somewhere somehow you know i practice psychology indirectly yeah. i mean all i mean let me say intermediate professionally i've not gone anywhere though but i still employ what i've studied in school though so have you traveled to any of these countries to actually learn or just go there to mingle i mean for some time okay so let's start uh it's okay i completed uni you know whilst in uni i was teaching spanish on campus but just on private tuition basis university of ghana you are making money, making money yeah. <laughs> yeah because i had to survive on campus so i had to <laughs> do everything i have to use my skills to survive otherwise i will oh, so you were teaching so, you see, someone who didn't study i mean language in school uh -huh. as, as an academic yeah. you know it's rather teaching someone who is i mean people who are actually yeah. studying that <laughs> you know in 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 the university those who are studying okay I think for languages, they have about yeah, two yeah, yeah. sessions. One is for written mm -hmm. or the general one, and the other for I mean spoken. So they have to attend one class where they have to learn how to pronounce those words, and then they have another class that is just general. I mean, the general class where you learn everything. And you teaching someone who is studying or people studying that language. You know, in the University of Ghana, okay, for what I know, if you are studying a language, you have two classes. One is for spoken, mm -hmm. and the other one for just just the general class. So I mean, they're coming for extra. I mean, they're they're really paying, cause you know language demands a lot. I actually went for the Chinese class once, and I paid for it. Confucius department. Yeah. When I was in my national service, I wanted to learn Chinese. You know, I myself I had a taste for languages, but the 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 tassel of it, the tassel <laughs> of learning. I mean. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. I, 
Yeah, it was it was really interesting. Were you were you were paying, you were yeah, charging. I had to make money, share. I had to make money. So that's it. I was making money from it. Because someone man, man must survive on campus. So that was it and while I was doing it, I remember um, yeah, what will make me travel? I've completed school. But before I compete, anytime we vacate, they will say internship. Uh, yeah. What, we should go to organization. I, mean, I don't yeah, have time. Too. I just go to a school to go and teach French and then get money. Because I can't go and be doing free internship elsewhere. No, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I will come and study IT on campus, but I'll go and teach French. Just to make money. Yeah. I have some, like. <laughs> you should know why I have to I do that. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, man, man, man must survive. Survive, yeah, you know. So, uh, organizing internship, people will be taking their letters, co company recommendations. No, okay. Me, I don't have any company. Co I, I was just doing my stuff because I knew I'll complete and I'll not work with IT. So, I completed uni and I was reading this rhapsody of realities. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, Father Chris. Pastor Chris. Pastor Chris, or yeah. Elo Mayor. Yeah. yeah, and as I read the rhapsody of realities, it's happened that as they wanted translators, so I sent an email and they replied but they need a translator for Dangbe, but that guy is already filled. And okay, so through the question, they realized I could do more. So they said, I said, oh, I can't. So yes, I said, I can do everything. And I realized the when I said translation, only the Dangbe was tough because you are translating about three pages audio you read to translate and by the time you are done your energy is drained and you're translating the whole book so i told them you know something i'll do it but i can't do other languages for now and it got to a time where they had this conference outside and that was my first time out of this country well the though it was a an all expense fee trip. <laughs> it's business. So yeah, it, it's business. It yeah. it, so. so it's an all expense fee trip. My first time flying. Well, I I was Which happy was that? to Lagos, oh, from Nigeria. Accra to Lagos. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, my first time flying. All expense took me to Dover Hotel, and I enjoyed the one week stay. Came back. And then my second time out of the country, I was in the north, and me myself, I traveled to Burkina Faso, but I had, uh, I didn't have anything, so I just bought Coca Cola and came back. <laughs> <laughs> How many days did you spend there? Uh, just I just for like three hours, just roaming, across the border, went around a little, bought Coca Cola, and I just came back. At least it's still an experience, yes, a travel experience. Uh, my third time out of Ghana was just recently. Thanks to Ma Asantua, yeah, and we went to, I, w I wanted to tour the country a little bit, that was last year, and for some, uh, I was supposed to do some Ahanta uh, lessons and Inyi lessons, so from Ghana we crossed over to the Ivory Coast, and yeah, yeah, so, yeah, so this is the three, so I've gone to our neighboring countries, not really the out European of Europe. Yeah. So you not going to the European countries, but you speak their language. Now, what what are you making out of those languages now? Okay. Do you have people you talk to frequently? Do you how how do you get in touch with? I mean, or do you come across people who speak these I mean languages? How how do you do it? How, okay. how does it happen? Thanks for this question. At Dover Hotel Nigeria, you know, I was the only Ghanaian among Europeans and Americans. There was this Italian girl whom I started speaking Italian with. And she was like, How do you know Italian? And she said, You are good in it. So we started speaking. And then I was like, I'm even, I even learned Abrutese. She was like, How? She said, There's no way you can learn Abrutese because even Italian struggles. And I was like, Oh, I'm not really just some one one way. And I was like, Pianto. I know Pianto, Mamma, and those things. But like, oh, really? So I remember she promised, like, we were chatting. Then I got to meet Pastor Sergio, he's a Mexican. Wow. So I was practicing the language there. I even took their contact. I remember this Italian lady, uh, she even promised when she gets to Italy, she will make sure she gets a job for me because I'm an interesting character. But after she got to Italy, I never heard from her again. That was the end. That's just the irony of many yeah. people from different countries and all. Yeah. Yeah. Because maybe 
yeah back then i you, you we used to, you know because the hotel does wi-fi and everything we can charge but when she got there i remember we used to say hi hi but i don't know what happened then because oh, yeah, so, I, I really wanted the job i really wanted you no know, i wanted to change the country but they are still yeah let me say pastor sergio is still in contact with me yeah. we talk but you know his is just to, yeah his is to help me practice the spanish yeah so he was more sometimes he would call but he did that for life for me but these days you know he's a he's a family man yeah so you, you know what, this guy. yes uh -huh. so you know when so yeah that's it like oh um, yeah i've met people i remember when i was going to lagos i met this lady from barcelona she were chatting in catalan she wanted to take my contact but i know she was at a business class i was at economy so when we we boarded i had to go we, so she, we couldn't tell them when we alighted to the immigration and stuff we couldn't and then they had to come and take me away so we couldn't really exchange but she really wanted to take my contact but that was way back in 2017. Yeah. some years ago yeah years back so, like. <laughs> not being able to okay not you've not gone outside how do you get people to teach these languages how do you get them okay so at the moment at the moment, like I'm doing on YouTube, I'm not centering on Ghanaian languages now. So I started with, so it's like at first I was I wanted to teach French and European language, but I thought to myself, why don't I come back to my local language? And what would make me come back to local language? There was this guy, Frank, uh, he was a friend and he was telling me that I'm good in teaching the Ghana, so I should teach on YouTube that people would like to learn. So I started it, I started it, but I was shy, so sometimes I was using the phone, a very ugly phone yeah i see sure <laughs> and i'll make sure only the face come those who started with me they, uh, they know how i started just the head because i was shy i wanted to hide my face i just wanted the voice but i don't want the face to show but with time i started getting the courage and then i started showing half body then gradually i was showing yeah then later i added dangbe so gan was my main focus with time I added Dangbe about seven to eight months time. Then I added the Guan languages. Okay. And I want I wanted to I created a different channel, Pauline Kodog for French, Spanish, but I realized it was lots of work. So I took them out, decided to focus only on the Ga and Dangbe. So even yeah, so now Ga and Dangbe one channel, which is where we are on, then the Guan languages too, that's it. Yeah. So interestingly. I know this has also led you to something, so to a different adventure altogether. That's writing of a book. Yes, yes. Can you take us through the number of books you've written, the titles, and then how it, it actually came about? Okay. So my first book is No Ghana Better. No Ghana Better. You know, I wanted. I was curious about Ghana language spoken in Ghana. Our histories. Our when we were in GHS, we were told that our languages are not connected. They would tell us Inzimers came from somewhere, Inyans came from somewhere, Gans came from somewhere, Dangbes came from somewhere. They don't tell us that we are united. But personally, I realized we are, we are united. Because I realized in Zima, in Western region, it's related to Latin Eastern region. But when they're telling Latin history, they tell it in isolation from Inzima history. And I wanted to see how best so i started looking at the language he started right now he started traveling and when an enzima man tells me his history that they are enzimas and are different accents why is any almost the same as in enzima then they can't answer sometimes ask themselves so you're killing enzima enzima is different from latte the latest who say a uh, bow as bone you put you say bow way so why did they say bow you could also say bow way why shouldn't la la latte say don't pay but they'll say bo, uh, bo, you could say bo way. Like, that's similar. Why would Latte say insane for back? You should also say insane for back. So I started throwing these questions to them, and no one gives me an answer. And I'm like, then we are not separate like you people make it. So I started writing that book from the linguistic perspective, because even though I studied science, I was learning linguistics secretly. Yeah, I was taking the course on course, but I never took to, to the certificate. I'm not planning on taking the certificate by October because I've done it long time, but I'll not take the set. 
So I said, right, from a linguistic perspective, and when the book was completed, I took the Bureau of Ghana Languages. They read training, they were like, good job done. Yeah, even the Izima section, they read it, and then they were like, now somebody is connecting it. Don't like somebody is connecting. I took it to the Institute of African State University of Ghana. It was proofread by one Samuel, one is uh, Samuel is a, a Nari man. You see, Beria, I see Bejam, see, they're not forgotten. And one man was an away man. They were like, they read this and they were like, this is a good work. You connected. I was like, that's the main purpose of the book because the people tell us that even right now, you know that even some people say the guns and dangbees are not the same. Dangbees are different from guns. Yeah, we know we are connected, but people always want to create That's separation. Kind of segregation, yeah. segregation between, I mean, tribes. Yes, and that was the main inspiration. <laughs> then with time, I wrote about uh, the Latin language and its effects on contemporary Guan languages. Because many people know nothing about but those ones are free books and they're on my blog historical when you go there most of them but the ones i'm selling is the no gonna better i wrote this free book nisla e mangana which is new yeah, study man i think i also read i, I read yeah. gave me a copy i read that book and yes it's, it's very inspiring <laughs> yeah i mean it looks like you you're reading a storybook yeah you know like how we teach kids how to you know with the the, the, the book with the I mean pictures, you know, the visuals, so you can also follow the story. Yeah. And and the storyline is it's very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So I wrote a new slam and gun. It's actually a bilingual English this thing. It's also a free book yeah. because of this way freely. Most of my books are free. And then I wrote the Pele religion of the Gandangbe people. But so I, I made but that one the volume one is out, it's also a free book. I released it on my blog and released it on some sites. Yeah, people read, but now I'm, I'm updating it because our culture, yeah, that's it. And then I translate Nisla and Ghana to Nenesla Ghana, it's the, the translated Dangbe. version, the Dangbe version. Yeah, so on and on. So the books here, yeah. let me see, I have about how many Nisla and Ghana, Nenesla and Ghana, no Ghana better, Guan languages, and this effect, Pele religion. I have about 10 books, and only one is for sale. The rest are for free. I mean, we are doing a charitable. <laughs> we are doing a charitable work, my brother. I mean, because nobody would would take that tassel to write a book. It takes time, and effort, dedication to actually put down the knowledge and go for free. I mean, I have to read that of the play and <laughs> I, I have to read it. I have to. I love. I have but to read it. Read it now. For now, then wait till the volume two is out. Okay, uh, so now we'll read the two. Yeah, so I, I mean, together, have the whole the entire package. Actually, the volume two is an update. Oh, of the, the volume, volume one. one. So what you see, the volume two, listen to volume one, but now updated. You have to. More information. I'm very patient. I would, I would wait. <laughs> I'm very patient. I would wait for the volume two so I could read. I mean, the two. So now, having written books, how is it going? How, how are people? Um, receiving it okay so thanks to my youtube channel people are because when you check my blog i'll release something just post it on youtube and the time you realize thousand reads yeah so it's picking up even the play religion has about five thousand reads yeah so so yeah and it's going on yeah um now we've we've seen We've seen and heard <laughs> what our brother is actually doing. And as a young man, I'll give him that thumbs up. He's really doing extremely, extremely well because, you know, people might have that test or that urge to learn a language, but you know how difficult it is learning languages, you know. We want you to do some skirmishes. I mean, I know I wouldn't understand some, yeah. but I mean so to our viewers. The questions and then we'll see how best Ooh. you can handle it. So we can try the question. Trip on. So try a question. Trip on. Uh -huh. Trip on, right? Trip on. Why not go first? Oh, I people understand go. <laughs> I mean, our uh, people. Trip on. Okay. Um, I want, want to. Uh -huh. I want to test you. Uh -huh. Test you. Uh -huh. I know. <laughs> I might not understand. Uh, go. We will speak go. So 
Dangbe, I understand Dangbe, but I can't really speak, you know, Bobo, little. Oh, no, Dangbe, Bobo. Yeah, uh, Minu, Minu, Bobo. Bobo. Uh, little by little. Small, you know, small, small. 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 Yeah. So now let's go to Tripon. Mm -hmm. Tripon, what is your. Uh, what, what difficulty have you encountered? Tripon. Tripon is a simple language. So, so as, I as to you, translate, yes. what difficulty have you encountered? No, so I want you to tell me. I'm asking you of your challenges. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. you can tell me about one in Tripon, and I can tell me probably one in Dagati or the Bani. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. So, so we are speaking. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm speaking Tripon. Of course. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Me a case. Me a me a case. Pando Besere. Okay. Start. Me a case. Pando Besere. I found a suit. So don't be. A, don't worry. Our men's row. Besere. Eh. Eh. Tripon. Me a. Bra na minisu ya e be di se bia eh eh kratan ko buta e me kese eh me kese nana a asukuna e ke me oh no na e ke me a ya ni se hi ya se eh minye muka e na mbi se mu se o sisi e bia se e se me jan se me ka mo a e ke mu mene se e tremwele ana se e tremwele na me kese you know funny enough mm -hmm. when when you come to our ga culture mm -hmm. okay and our priestesses are and priests are possessed mm -hmm. they speak this i mean they speak uh, the, the that one is different Ubutu. from chiripon is the quality of butu but it's very different from the guan of butu cuz listening to what you were saying i could actually yes some I mean, some elements with yeah. With there will be one one ways, but it's not fully. It's fully yes, yes. But I was I was following actually, yeah. but I got to a point I got lost. Yeah, you know, because of me here and I mean, being able to interact with them sometimes, yeah. not all the time. So now you tell me another challenge in um, which is the language in our local dialect. Yeah. Challenge or oh, actually challenge. In I can speak a futu, but challenge. I don't even know how to express the challenge. Okay, so you tell us something in Ifutu. Okay, okay, Ifutu, like okay, okay. Um, 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 muye, um, minke ki matoku bo Ifutu to. Enti ebia, eh, se se ya anem bo yefa. Ena anatale, anatale um, ata mabon. Boma braboto inti ebia ena nubo yefa e mwanto te mube unsi bia into mpamena so na minsu ya if 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 futo atalen into inkantele into atale pinambo eraso moto so I was just I was just yeah, saying yeah, that yeah, at, 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 atale is atale. language. Oh, okay. Like so you don't have a fish called antale. Uh, so. <laughs> yes, at atale or wow. atal, any of them. Some some that atale. Some atale say atale. Some also say atal. No, That's language. So I was saying that you are asking me generally about the languages I speak and what's and about my life, and I'm just explaining it to you. Yeah. So now let's move from our local dialect. To let's go to um, the Europe. Europe, okay. So, um, okay. Spanish. Ahora que prueba español es que si sí, cuando estoy cuando estaba, estaba aprendiendo español no no encontrando muchas dificultades, pero yo eh, yo soy un ganense y que un ganense que no tiene una conexión a algún que quizás es de América o Europa si sí, puedes aprender el idioma pero pero tener alguien a practicar a, a practicar con será una dificultad Okay, to have someone to practice with will be a difficulty. Mm -hmm. Ah, so now. E também se agora estou falando português. E se estamos aqui que estamos falando de tudo o de tudo que é feito na minha vida. 
Yeah, because yes, <laughs> I'm dumbfounded. I, I, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know. know. I'll prefer to have you, 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 you ask me, okay, how do you say wall? Maybe I'm, that one will be easier, but if I ask you to express oh. myself, I don't even know what to say. Okay, so <laughs> let's go. Um, Norwegian, Norwegian, okay, Norwegian. Norwegian is one language I learned Swedish, and Swedish gave me so Swedish. Uh -huh. I love, I love baseball. Okay, ja, Askar, baseball. Ah, ja, Askar, baseball. I learned one. Put a right here. Ja, Askar, baseball. Norwegian will say ja, Askar, baseball. Oh, okay. So just a little a tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, variations. Okay. I mean, if 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 I say we would continue, we didn't finish now. So this is a proof that our brother here is a multilingual, he is a multilinguist. Okay, but but it, I, is I, there I anything you'd want? Uh, is there anything uh, you want to add to? I mean, something probably you want to add that I've not asked. Something in your heart you want to tell our viewers. Yeah. Well, basically, someone may say maybe I've not given enough proof. Yes. Yeah, so maybe let's make it this way. Maybe you throw a question like, how do we say shit? And I'll say it in some number of languages. Okay? Then maybe you can try a different question. How do you say maybe water? And I'll say it in a number of languages. So maybe you okay. just throw the random question. Let's not do it only European or maybe it can, I don't know. So maybe you can just. Let's get spicy. <laughs> let's get spicy. Okay, yeah. So now just to let others know. Okay, so just try a simple question food. Food, okay. So let me start with Gan. Gan is Nene. Dangwe is Nene. Uh, Inzima is Alie. Efutu is Eluto. Uh, Owutu is also Adeto. Okay. Chirepon is Tei. Then later is Teji. Okay. Um, tree is Adriane. Fanti is Edban. <laughs> Okay, but Alia in Latin becomes medicine. In Dagmali, we say Bindrigu. Okay, in Bindrigu. How else we say Abinchi? <laughs> yes. Uh, in Spanish, we say Alimento. Okay. In French, we say Nourriture or Repa. Yes. Um, German is Essen. Essen, yes. Uh, Portuguese is also aliment ou comida. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, this one, Romanian is mancare. Mancare. So, um,. What word? What word? What word? This okay, maybe word. word. No, this, the, the, word. The, the, the we can use word. No, let's, let's get something else. Um, fried rice. Fried rice. <laughs> Even I don't know how to translate it. <laughs> <laughs> but I know this is Spanish, you know? Fried rice is not indigenous to Africa. Yeah. So even Ghana, we don't have a name for it. Yes. So even Ghana, I don't know. Okay, let's, but let's, Spanish let's is arroz else. frito. The, you know, uh -huh. I'm, I'm short of words. I don't. I actually don't know the kind, <laughs> the kind of words to be using. Okay. But but but, but fairly, mm -hmm. you've been able you've been able to, I mean, prove to us or tell us mm -hmm. that indeed, I mean, this is not a proof test. Yeah. Okay. This is not a proof test. I mean, we have in, in, in the Ghanaian preaching, we have something we say. It is what it is. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> if you know, you know. Yeah. If without, you can reach out to him. And then testify for yourself. All too soon, we are we've come to the end of our conversation. It's been an interesting and an enlightenment, an interesting conversation, an enlightenment to us. I mean, I'm sure this story can actually empower someone out there to also do the same. People who are thirsting or yearning for, I mean, yearning to learn a language. Someone like me, but God knows, God knows when. <laughs> But all the same, we appreciate your efforts and we hope and pray that your efforts actually pay off. Because it's not easy writing a book, it's not easy 
I mean, letting go of your, 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 your actual career path, something you studied in school for four good years, putting, as, putting aside, and then taking up a different career path altogether, especially language. We all know how language is. We all know. You and I can testify. Even learning French, even in our schools here in Ghana, it's, it's a big job. It's a very big job. So my brother, congratulations. <laughs> and then, okay. God bless you. Okay, so let me do something one more. So let's okay. let me say thank you in some languages. Then maybe that one will be if it is also thank you. Yes, yes. Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> merci. 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 This is French. Is Catalan. French is merci. You you yeah, you you try to pronounce from the truth, but merci is Catalan and uh, Ladino language is spoken in that's Judeo Spanish. They say the mercy, yeah. So, what you are doing, Gandang be mochum. Eh, eh, Buem is wa, eh, mochum awe, yes. Buem is eh, wabra. Oh, okay. Eh, is akpe. Eh, yeah, akpe kakaka, eh, latte is inkbejuwile. Chepon is inkbejuwile. Eh, eh, numbusu gwa is also. Um, okay, three is me that was say. Fancy is also the same thing that was say. In Zima is uh, the same thing that was say. Any me that was say. Say she me that me that was say. Dagbanle, Empire. Okay, Manpuri is Impusia. Then the Guni languages. Some say Impusira. That's the Fra Fra. Some say Impusira. Some also say Impusia. Okay, some say Mpuya. That's the uh, then that da, Dagati. They say uh, Barca. Barca. And then Spanish. You said it already. Say it. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, French. Danke. Dutch Hol Hol uh, Holland. Okay, or Netherlands. Uh, they say Danke or Dank U. Okay. Yeah, Dank U. Eh, yeah, gracias, gracie, tak, taxomike, eh, spasiba, mutumesk, mutumesk is Romanian, one language I really love, she, she, Chinese, like, but yes, like, it will go on and on, and on, and on, and on, yeah. He said it, and, um, there's, there's this thing, uh, the goodbye, Goodbye in one of these now. I think it's Chinese or so. Um, ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, Italian. Ciao is it? What does it mean? Italian, ciao, ciao. Ah, ciao, <laughs> ciao, ciao. Italian, ciao. I said, I, I said, I mean, ciao. <laughs>